children were already fencers. I wanted to know more about the sport and I decided to do an adult beginners course. I've been fencing for 30 years and I didn't really see any point in stopping. Um, chasing 17, 18, 19 year old kids up and down a piece gets a bit wearing after a while. And it just allows you to continue to fence in a way and at a standard that provides a proper challenge. I think that's um, well, I've, I've had done quite a lot of fencing in my career and then I had a little bit of a break and came back to it and found I was still doing reasonably well. And then vets competitions came along and I found I could go in for them. And um, what I really enjoyed was the fact that the countries that I used to compete against, like the Russians and the French, uh, were always better than us in the, um, in the senior teams. Um, at veterans, it was the other way around. And I really enjoyed that. Competition, you get young people, but there's still that same spread amongst the veterans of people that look quite a chunk younger than you and the different skills, and especially the skills amongst some of the older people who you think this might be quite easy, and then they slaughter you. Yeah. I said to myself, we've put in something. You're 40 something now. Ed, we've put in the pump in the start. And you've not done any proper exercise for four years. Whereas I used to do a lot regularly, like rowing and running and swimming. It's pumped I stopped it all. Then I started to think. Then I started to think, this has got to change. I didn't start fencing until I was 60. That was after my husband died and I thought I'd try and find something to do to keep exercising and to keep meeting people. Because there's there's no age limit and you're not restricted to male or female, so you can fence anybody. And when you put that mask on, you can be anybody. You can be D'Artagnan if you like. And nobody knows who you are under that mask or your friends. And um, I find it a great challenge, especially when you meet younger people and teenagers who think they've got to really wallop you, but you manage to come out of it on top, then that's a great achievement. My daughter started first and I didn't understand it, so I thought I'd better learn. And I realised if people, if Carol can fence at 70, then there's no reason that I can't start in my late 40s. Up the old crinkly. <laughs>